Okay, I'm gonna go over real quick how to widen a grommet. Um, basically, you need two tools, you need an awl, and you need some kind of wax. Now, I use chapstick just because it's easy to apply to the awl, um, but any kind of uh, lube or just use something that's not gonna degrade the plastic. And chapstick's pretty good for that. Then, you know, like I said, you, you just stick the awl in there and that works real well. Um, but the idea of widening a grommet is to widen it so that you can use it as a shared hole, meaning that you can use it either as a shared hole exactly, which you never would in tennis, uh, not with newer rackets. Uh, but the big one is so that you can use it as a tie-off hole. Now, that's kind of important uh, for like Babolat rackets, or if you saw my box pattern video, I used it for the, uh, the fifth main at the top so that I could uh, use that on the short side as a tie off. Um, but basically what you want to do is you want to insert the awl and move it in enough so that it moves down the awl and widens the grommet. Now what you don't want to do is have the grommet separate from the, uh, the track here, this plastic track that's on the outside. Now you can do that in a, in a, in a lot of different ways and, and you want to avoid that. And you want to avoid that in two ways. You want to go slow and you want to spin it and you want to use lubrication because what's going to make it so that this thing pops off is heat and friction and to eliminate both of those you use wax you keep the, the all spinning and you move slow if you move real fast it's, it's going to stretch just this inside part real quick and it's going to become too thin and it's very likely that the grommet will snap out but if you do it nice and slow and evenly divide or evenly apply the pressure along the grommet you should be able to get it through and widen it wide enough so without further ado what you do is you take your awl put it in your chapstick or whatever it is you use i've seen someone use paraffin wax but i could never find paraffin wax for the life of me so i use chapstick insert it into the grommet that you want to widen and just slowly spin the all side to side okay see it pop through now you only want to go as far as you need and feel free to apply more wax as needed and of course some grommets are going to be easier than others Okay, and even when you're pulling it out, you keep wanna you know you wanna keep spinning it. Spin slow, slow, slow. Again, the idea is to reduce the heat and to reduce the friction. And of course if you reduce the friction, you're gonna reduce the heat. Um, but clean up your excess chapstick and stringing it'll help that. And after you string it through, you may have, you may find some uh, some extra chapsticks pop through, just clean that up, you know, and over time it'll all go away. Um, but that's it, that's how you widen a grommet, and uh, some are more susceptible to widening than others, and you'll just find out as you go which ones are easier. Um, for instance, this one, a little difficult. The one I did on the K61, K61 Tour, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, was much easier, and it widened real nice. So, anyway, that's all there is. Thank you.